Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today we just have a real quick tutorial on how to change the opacity of your parts in Fusion 360. A uh, pretty nifty little tool. Uh, I'm actually going to show you two ways. The first way is how I wouldn't do it, but how I did it for a while. So we'll actually go to, down to design and we're going to go to uh, render and we'll just select one of these bodies and we're actually just going to change it. We're just going to go into appearance and just change it to a clear plastic. So that's just quick dirty way of doing it uh, and as you can see it is clear but now we don't really have any good way of like changing the uh, the opacity of increasing or decreasing it unless we want to go back into render and change the features qualities from there which is just kind of a pain so the other option is we can choose another body we'll use this one right here and we will go to the bottom right here and click opacity control and you have two options you can go from one Oh, sorry, 10 to 100, and you can choose any of those preset uh, percentages, or you can go to custom opacity. We'll click on custom. And from custom opacity, we can actually select multiple bodies like in many features, which is really nice and one thing I do like from doing it here. And so we could select a number of them if we want. We're just gonna stick with the one. And then we just have this light slide rule right here where we can change that opacity. And that's it. Real nice, real simple. If you wanna go back and change it, same thing. You go to the body, you right click, and you go down to opacity control and you can change it to something greater or less. Um, this is just a great way if you have multiple bodies in a file uh, to be able to just kind of navigate. I use it sometimes, I don't use it all the time, but there it is. So I hope you like that video. If you do like it, hit that like button and I'll see you guys next time. Keep modeling. 